uh, during this trip for my stay. I've been staying here at the old Santa Fe Inn, which is really a nice place. I'm gonna go in and film a little bit in there. Uh, and it's about maybe two or three blocks from the plaza. Real easy walk. And it's a very nice hotel. It has uh, off-street parking. All enclosed. Nice neighborhood, very quiet. And they serve a good breakfast. They have a burrito bar along with the traditional eggs and stuff. And they have a little area to sit out here and drink your coffee and stuff. It's at 201 Montezuma Street. And uh, it's real nice. It is key card to get in here. Your room key will get you in. So certainly nothing to feel unsafe about. My room is a king and it's right here. In fact, you can see where my car is parked. It doesn't get no better than that. So it's a very nice place. Let's go in and take a look around the room. It's a nice room. It's got a little gas fireplace, a couple of chairs, nice work deck desk. They do have uh, high speed internet here and, and it works great. Uh, flat screen TV, refrigerator and microwave underneath that, and that little stand. And nice king size bed. It's been very comfortable, very quiet, and very comfortable. I was able to set up a little work center here and and they have a uh, bathroom, which you can tell I'm traveling alone because the seat's always up. And bathtub in there, and then a little vanity area here. But all in all, a uh, nice little room. This is the old Santa Fe Inn on Montezuma Street in Santa Fe. Now on this trip, this was the fourth hotel I stayed at, and it was the third one to receive 10 out of 10 stars on reviews that I've written. And as you recall, Taos's El Pueblo Lodge was the only one on the entire trip that received 1 out of 10. The old Santa Fe Inn received its 10 out of 10 review based on its location, its cleanliness, overall condition, and the staff, including the managing director, Amy, went well above and beyond my expectations and just did a great job of making me feel at home. She gave me lots of good tips on what to see and where to eat and was just an absolute joy to be around. So kudos to her and all the staff at the Old Santa Fe Inn. Now one area I should warn you about and that is the walking path that goes along the side of the Santa Fe River which runs right through the middle of this area of town. It looks great and it's a great place to walk but before dawn, it's a little on the sketchy side. There are lots of homeless and transients around. I'd wait until 6.30 or 7 in the morning when all the dog walkers come out, and then you'll be just fine. Yeah, this is what the uh, Santa Fe River area looks like here. Picnic tables, benches, really pretty nice. Now, under the heading of things I did not know, Pre-1937 Route 66 used to travel through Santa Fe. We'll see it again in Albuquerque. Well, I have to walk by this place four or five times a day for the last three days. Uh, I finally decided I would give it a try. It's always crowded from first thing in the morning until late afternoon. Every time I go by, it's full, full of people. It's the Pantry. Pantry Rio. And uh, today when I got home, I looked it up in, well, I didn't look it up. I looked at my book of places to eat in Santa Fe and sure enough, it was on my list. It was number two. <coughs> so I'm not sure why I make my list if I don't ever look at it. But anyway, we're gonna go over there. And we're gonna have some lunch and uh, see how it is. 
Okay, I'm having lunch today about two blocks from the hotel I'm staying at. This is uh, from the pantry, and it is a chicken enchilada dinner with beans and rice. And I'll tell you what, it looks great. So I'll give her a try here. Well, this ought to, ought to answer the question, how was your lunch? Was it any good? The food in New Mexico is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I haven't had anything here that like any place else I've ever had. And it's a mistake to call it Mexican food. It's not Mexican food. It's Santa Fe, New Mexico. And it's, it's just amazing food. Now it's time to eat about a pound and a half of Haagen-Dazs ice cream.